let's dive a little deeper into the HTTP 1.0 protocol. As of this moment, HTTP 1.0 is not supported in Hyperforce. To explain why we recommend our customers to consider moving away from HTTP 1.0, here's Salman. Hi, my name is Salman, and today I'm going to talk about HTTP 1.0 and why you should be considering moving away from it. For those who don't know, HTTP 1.0 was introduced over 25 years ago, and it was subsequently enhanced and refreshed with the newer version, version 1.1, just about a year later. Ever since then, HTTP 1.1 has been the more commonly adopted protocol as it offers significant improvements to its predecessors in the areas of performance and security, in addition to introducing several net new features. Let's take a look at some of the concerns in using HTTP 1.0. It actually uses a basic security authentication pattern where it exchanges login credentials in an unencrypted manner, which is often prone to snooping and other security violations. Additionally, it creates a new TCP connection for every request, which significantly adds processing overhead and increases the latency for in-flight transactions. Scalability thus also consequently becomes an area of concern as servers are forced to dedicate resources for a period of time, even after once a connection is terminated. Now, customers who have been building API-based integrations with the Salesforce platform, say in the last decade or so, will most likely have been using HTTP 1.1 or higher versions. However, we still do see a very small number of clients on HTTP 1.0. And it may be due to uh, reasons uh, of their legacy integration middleware or their application clients or systems not being refreshed in a very long time. There are a couple of basic ways uh, where you could figure out if uh, your applications are using HTTP 1.0 to undertake subsequent remediation actions. One such option is to engage your IT and network service management teams who can utilize readily available network monitoring tools to verify the version of HTTP for the transactions generated by your application client. In other cases where perhaps a middleware product has been used to build the integrations with Salesforce, uh, be sure to check the default configuration settings of that product, uh, which may sometimes default to using HTTP 1.0. Be also mindful that sometimes these config options are not easily visible. So be sure to check the product manuals to ensure that you navigate to the correct configuration options of the product to use the right HTTP version. And with that, it's back over to you, John. Thanks, Salman. Some of you may ask, Will Hyperforce consider supporting HTTP 1.0 in the future? Salesforce does not make any deprecating decisions lightly. While we do believe that HTTP 1.1 offers a more secure connection between Salesforce and customers' clients with added performance benefits, we are still evaluating if we will support HTTP 1.0 in Hyperforce in the future. For now, Salesforce has excluded customers who we detected that they using HTTP 1.0 to send requests to Salesforce services from migrating into Hyperforce. From Salesforce's point of view, trust is our number one value, which includes in ensuring that your use of our service is in a secure manner. In that spirit, 
we do recommend to customers that if they know they are still using the HTTP 1.0 protocol, they should consider moving away from it if possible to ensure security best practices.